So, uh, just wondering what uh, people's luck has been with using diesel fuel as a uh, penetrating oil. I had this piece here sitting submerged in diesel for like a year. It had uh, two steel pulleys on it and I tried to get the set screws out and they wouldn't come out so finally pulled it out of there today and uh, set screws still wouldn't move. So I ended up uh, attacking it with the zip disc and the thing that gets me is like it's it's still rusty. There's no sign of any penetration of the diesel. Here's the, the pulley itself there. After I had to cut the lip back out of it to get it off. Unfortunately, steel is not the same as cast iron. It doesn't break when you hit it. But uh, anyway, so I'm just kind of wondering what uh, other people's luck has been using uh, diesel fuel as a penetrating oil. Because I for like piston pins and things I use actual penetrating oil and uh, I've had good luck with it and then for like nuts and bolts on the car I use this stuff called release all it's a in a spray can and it it seems to work really well I don't know if it's available anywhere other than Canada but uh, so anyway um, let me know uh, in the comments uh, what kind of luck you've had with uh, diesel I wondered if maybe thinning it with uh, I don't know gasoline or something else would help uh, I mean, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit out. It's not like it's uh, cold outside. Uh, but I don't think it got any penetration whatsoever. I've had uh, an engine sitting in it, a uh, Briggs engine sitting in it for two years. We'll, uh, we'll see if the piston wants to try to move or not. But uh, anyways, let me know your thoughts. Thanks.